Here's how I customized my IKEA Alex drawers to look like this. So this is my current desk setup. I've got the Reddit standard two Alex drawers on top of a countertop. Um, the countertop is sitting on these furniture legs that I've got screwed into the top of the Alex drawers. And underneath my countertop is a Gobi Glide. And as you can see, my cable management is in shambles. Uh, what I want to do is put the countertop on standing desk legs and then move each Alex drawer on either side. So on this side, I'm gonna put this Alex drawer right over here. Standing desk legs for the countertop and this Alex drawer on this side. I bought these wood slot acoustic panels from Amazon and what I like about these is that they're available in a smaller size and a lower price than you usually see anywhere else. One pack was enough for this project. They come in multiple colors, including silver, cherry, matte black, oak, walnut, and white. I bought mine in walnut to match my desk. These are made by Art3D who make the very popular PVC wall panels that you may have seen in many other desk setups. This is what the package looks like when you open it. I gotta say, for the price, I was very impressed with the quality. When we were cutting across the wood, we taped both sides using painter's tape and cut with the wood side down. Be sure to remove any staples in your cutting path. If any of your cuts fall along the felt like you see here, a box cutter is all you need. Here are the leftover pieces. I feel bad throwing them out, so let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with them. And here are the pieces that I'll be using. I'm only using one side piece as that's my only visible side, and the other side is against the wall. For the tops, I'm using Gorilla Glue construction adhesive to stick them to the drawers. I'm gonna screw this panel onto the side of my Alex drawer, but it's a little, I wanna put it up a little bit higher so it's flush with the top. And I don't want it sitting on the ground in case I need to slide the drawer. So, I found the perfect size book to place this on as like a pedestal. And I'm gonna line it up. And it sits just right. Now I'm going to drill four holes into the acoustic felt. While being flush, it's going to go through the felt and a little bit into my Alex drawer without going all the way through and interfering with the drawers. So again, this is the number six 
screw with the flat head at three fourths of an inch. I believe it goes number six, three fourths. And so I'm gonna drill them and they'll go about that far into the side of the Alex drawer. All right, this would definitely be better with two people, but what I'm gonna do is align the sides, push down a little bit at the top because I just want to get it perfectly flush. The corner is right, this corner's right. I'm gonna take my screw and I'm gonna drill one probably right about here. That went through easily. I'm gonna go straight down the same and be like right about here. Give it a little bit of pressure. Perfect. And there we go. I slid the book out and it's holding pretty well. As you can see here, this is the final product. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. This project helped widen my desk without having to buy another desktop and I think it looks great and unique. Also, the standing desk has crossbars underneath that will help prevent the desk from sagging in the middle. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.